What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic and today we're going to be playing survival on a crazy new mod called the Crashlander mod and this was made by a whole team of people, it's really really amazing and there's a trailer but unfortunately I can't show the trailer due to some copyrighted music so I'm going to put the trailer link in the description down below as well as links to a, a bunch of different stuff, their discord and all that and right now I'm going to give you three seconds to just pause this video and go watch the trailer. All right, so now that you've seen the trailer, can't we just say that that was amazing? I mean, I like the part with the thing and the guy did the thing with the other thing and there was that custom thing and oh my God, I'm really excited to play this. So we're just gonna jump right into it and I wanted to start it up right away because there's some cool intro stuff. So let's get right into it. Crash Lander. I love the fact that there's a custom intro for this. This is amazing. Uh, I'm already blown away. I have no idea what happens, what we're supposed to do. All I know is that this mod looks fantastic. It got sent to me by the Red Builder and uh, just amazing stuff. We don't even have... Interesting. We don't even have a uh, crash ship anymore. We've literally just got a drop pod. That's cool. Okay, it's got a broken air conditioning unit. All right, can't steal that. What can I take? I can use the radio. Can I... Oh, I can take it. Oh, and I can take the batteries. Oh, I can pick up this tool. I should start exploring this landing site. Arg, I need to find where my ship crashed. Hopefully the power source hasn't exploded. Otherwise, I'll be stuck here forever. Oh my god, they actually built a log. That's so cool. There's missions. Okay, so first mission. Planet Broria 51KU has been brought from the company for Terra. For Terra stated that they have not harvested any resources from the planet, but have built a headquarters... To monitor the planet and there are no ha inhabitants except for some animals okay for terra ordinance explore find ore deposits start harvesting the resources okay uh for terra enterprises is a company that explores planets and star systems finding resource rich planets spacepedia 3023 okay this is it's kind of cool that they built a whole oh what is this system failure oh no Communications off with of HQ, communication systems offline decreasing rapidly. Yeah, eject. Oh, okay, this is the- yeah, you know what? Stuff happens, right? Alright, so, uh, let's- can I steal this, too? No. I can use the seat. I can't steal the seat. Interesting that they put a cup holder, and I can- I could upgrade the seat. I don't know why we need to. Alright, I guess we gotta go get some stuff. Let's see, um... Is that smoke I see? Wait, well, oh, I missed that message. Dang it, dang it, I wasn't reading- I wasn't paying attention to the message. He said something about smoke. I'll see it in the edit. Oh, head over to the smoke pillar. Oh, crash. I see. I gotcha. Where is the smoke pillar? I don't... Oh. Ah. Oh, there is smoke over there. Okay, okay. Let's, um, let's craft some stuff real quick. I'm gonna craft a basic workbench. And... Oh, wait. I'm not gonna have scrap metal. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go to the smoke pillar. I was gonna... Does this have a beacon? It does not. And I can't put a beacon down. Well, you know what? We're gonna find our way back. We have to. It's close enough to the smoke pillar. Should be able... You know what? I'm gonna demolish this tree. Oh no, this is going to take 17 years to demolish this tree. Okay, well, you know, we're going to need some better tools. The, uh, the cooldown on this is pretty slow. We're going to need some scrap- oh god, this is so- this is pay- okay, you know what? Well, I'll be back in 20 minutes when I finish cutting this one tree. Well, this is cool, I got a sapling. I got- can I plant- oh my god, I can replant trees! Oh, it requires water. Oh, whoops. Whoops, I probably shouldn't have- probably shouldn't have done that and I don't think I don't know if I can destroy it okay well it's fine I'm still gonna chop the rest of this tree that's sweet that's so awesome that we can get saplings now we can actually make a tree farm like a proper tree farm to just harvest wood in the same spot over and over again we'd have to water them which is interesting I don't know if that's a one-time watering or we got to do it multiple times but definitely gonna have to build a tree farm. Because I remember Cosmo and I, we just used to like clear cut forests to get wood. But we could make a full out, you know, assuming that we can plant the saplings using one of those, um, you know, conveyor, what the heck it's called, the ejector thingy majumners from original survival. Assuming we have those and the, vac the vacuum pumps, I think that's what it is. But yeah, if we could plant saplings with vacuum pumps, we could make a fully automatic tree harvesting growing system. Using some sensors to detect when the tree's grown. I feel like we could do something really crazy with that. It's gonna be cool if, if that if that's a thing. I know there's like a bunch of different workbenches in this mod that we've never seen before. I saw that in the trailer, which we all watched. 
So I'm just, you know, I'm excited to see what they all actually do. And uh, I think that's our crash ship over there. I wanted to delete this tree just so we could, you know, the landing pod is, is that way, right? That way we can tell, we just look through the gap. All right, there's cows, still got the cows. Interesting, still got the paint flowers, that's cool. Uh, I think this is our ship. It is definitely our ship. What the heck is all this stuff? Pick up scrap. Oh my goodness, it just gives me freaking 32 scrap. That's amazing. What is this stuff? Okay. Um, is that a coal block? Coal block. Okay, that's awesome. There's coal in this instead of, instead of just having wood for fuel. There's coal. Actually, we didn't even need fuel before. Wait, why do we need fuel? Hold on a minute. What does this do? Could I use... Is there something other than gasoline for fuel? That's cool. All right, so this is like a... This is a piece of my ship. It's not... It's not actually my ship. It's just a piece of it. All right, I gotta go back and craft a scrap workbench. This mod is amazing. It really... It really feels like a whole different version of scrap mechanic. It's got some of the same stuff. But, you know, in that trailer we saw, there were definitely other things. What is this? Copper block. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. We're gonna be smelting some copper. I'm excited. This kind of feels like Minecraft. Oh, what is this? Blue forest berries, bro! Well, we can eat some- Oh my god, there's berries. Uh, this is- this, Oh, they give you- They give you nothing. Okay, well, this is gonna- This is gonna be a while. That's sweet, though. I wonder if I can harvest those. And actually- Wait, can I eat corn? This is a mod. There, 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 maybe I can eat corn. Can I- Like, if I grab the corn, can I eat the corn? No, I can still only place the corn. Corn is still only for cows. Scrap workbench. Craft one of you. Uh, I'm gonna craft a terrible pick. And I can't make a connection tool yet. That's fine. I'm assuming the scrap workbench is like the same as this pod. Oh my god, that's so cool. Wow. You know... it's It blows my mind that people can make mods that are this, this good. Like, the raft mod was amazing as well. I mean, this is just, this is just next level. This feels more like scrap mechanic than scrap mechanic. Oh, by the way, I guess I should turn, I can turn foliage back on. Um, yeah, I have, I have foliage density. Let's turn it to low. In survival, it's nice to have, there we go. Nice to have a little bit of foliage rather than just completely bare terrain. This is sweet that it actually, like, shows you crafting the workbench. That's nice. All right, craft one of those as well. 30 seconds. All right. No big deal. And then we're out of stuff. This is wicked. I'm so blown away already by this mod. We're gonna go back to the ship, put down the- Wait, actually, I'm just gonna put this here for now. I can pick it back up. What does this do? Oh, this makes a lot of stuff. Makes another scrap workbench. Makes a better workbench, which we don't have unlocked. Maybe you have to upgrade this or something? There is no upgrades. Unlock level, okay. Uh, we can make bearings, we can make gas. Make a scrap sword, scrap pickaxe and that, yeah, okay, we can make scrap wheels. Alright, okay, I don't really know what the progression is. Craft a radio receiver, oh, okay, well I guess that's the progression, what's, that's a radio receiver. Oh, I can craft that with the radio, perfect. I'm assuming this is gonna give us like signals that we have to track down, GPS signal type deals. This is unbelievably cool. Scanning. Oh my goodness. Okay, what are we what are we looking for? What are we gonna find? I'm assuming there's a shop. Is there a shop? Scan complete. Head over to the location of the unknown signal. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go get those cows first and feed them. this is cool. I don't even know what to say. Like this is just the it's such a new experience to just be exploring survival. You don't start on the same starting island as the original survival. You uh you know you don't just have to go get batteries right away. It's a whole different set of things that we're doing. I love the fact that the radio receiver seems to just be like an item. It doesn't tell you when to scan. You have to actually just go look for it. All right, we've got a lot of corn here. Let's go feed some cows. Where'd those cows go? They were like right here. What? I need the cows. We're gonna need milk. Oh, there they are, way over there. All right, let's feed these cows. Get some milk. Oh my God, guys! It was supposed to be the corn for the one dude. God dang it. Well, now my corn is nothing. Nothing. Really? Really? You guys just... Okay, well. We got one extra milk. That's it. Let's go to that signal before night falls. Hopefully it's a shelter. Uh, otherwise, we might just be building a pillar and standing up at night. I mean, I don't know. Nothing. We don't have any crops growing. I'm assuming the raid timer is still the same. If you grow crops, you get raided. 
Oh, we got a carrot and some carrot seeds. That's convenient. Like, I would assume that stuff's all the same. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, there's honeycomb. I'm going to grab the honeycomb right now. Because if we need it for tires, uh, it's going to be useful to have. Oh, a component kit. Nice. The first... Oh, what the... Is that a bull? What is that? It's not a cow. Is that a bull? Did they make bulls? It literally is a bull, except its horns are like big teeth. Okay. Can I breed cows? Is that a thing? Are you guys- are you guys gonna breed? If I could make like a cow farm and reproduce cows for unlimited meat, that would be super cool. That's interesting, it's a bull. It's- I mean, it makes sense. This cow has udders on its head. It would make sense that the bull's horns are actually giant teeth. Seems passive. Yeah, it doesn't seem to care. I really hope I can- I can capture cows and make them breed. You know what? I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna put some corn next to all of them. And see what happens. Maybe they need corn to breed. I don't know, you know? Why not, right? Isn't it like Minecraft? You have to feed them and then they reproduce? Isn't that how it works? Let's try it. Let's see what happens if I do this. Come here. Are you gonna eat the corn? You don't even- you don't even... You don't- literally does not care. So far, I haven't seen any bots. Like, not even a tote bot, actually. It's just been cows. Cows and bulls. No tote bots. No hay bots. Normally, you'd see tote bots in the normal survival, just like kind of like roaming. I wonder if all those bots are in, you know, facilities or something, in buildings or something like that. Maybe there's specific areas. Yeah, there's another bull over there. That's cool. Get up on this rock. Just do some scouting. Um... Are those wolves? There's wolves. Oh my god, they're amazing. They look hostile. They're going to kill that cow. That's actually amazing. There's wolves. I- I- I don't want to fight the wolves. I'm gonna just let them- Let them do their thing. That's great. That's so cool. I wonder if you can tame them. I might be asking a lot, but like, it's- It's so far, there's already some new stuff, and I have no idea what it does. So, you know, I'm- I'm not gonna fight the wolves. This thing is the slowest- the slowest weapon ever. You know what? We could actually fight them with our lift. I'm gonna go fight the wolves. If I die, remember me as a hero. But I think I'll probably just respawn at the, uh, I'm assuming it'll be the same as dying in regular survival. You'll respawn probably at the, the crash pod. And we can just walk our way back over there. Alright, here's the wolves. I see you. Hello, wolves. Ow. Oh my god, you do 25 damage? Yeah, I'm not gonna fight the wolves. Okay, bye, wolves. Hold on, I need to put my lift down. If I can just... All right, there we go. Oh, wolf, get back here. I want to fight you. Come here. Okay, you can still hit me up on top of that. Interesting. It does the same thing the bots do. Okay, I can't. I can't actually hit it with this, so we're not gonna fight the wolves. I. I it does so much. Wait, you know what? What if I just? Okay, hold on. I might just end up dying here, but I feel like this is- this is worth trying. I want to see what happens if you kill it. Okay, I hit it once. Hit it twice. I'm- Okay, it only takes three hits. Wolf high. Okay, that's a nice, interesting looking material. Can be used as a crafting ingredient. Okay, okay. Oh. What? Why are you attacking me? What did I do? I saved you from the wolf? I literally saved you. I literally saved your life, and now you're trying to kill me. Alright, fine. I'll kill you, cow. I don't care if you're a bull. Can't believe that, man. Try and save a cow, and all it does is try and kill you. Oh, I'm missing every hit. There we go. Excuse me. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna- this is gonna end up in me dying, so, like, yeah. I need a gun. I'm- I'm a, uh, there's gotta be guns, right? I'm just way too early on. Yeah, I still haven't gone to the unload signal. Was... Dealing with wildlife problems. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, how much- how much health do you have, bro? Come on. Oh! Yeah, I saw that coming. Well, the good news is all those shenanigans means it's daytime. So, that's great. I'm gonna just, uh... Yeah, that's not the bull. 
hope the health on that bull is still the same. I don't know what a bull would give. I feel like it's something different. Like the old cows give you nothing but meat. That was the way they were. I'm assuming they're probably still the same in this mod. They seem to do the same thing with the corn, meat and milk. But uh, I wonder if the bull gives you anything different other than just meat. It's kind of cool how the bull attacks. I'm assuming if we attack a cow, it still probably runs away. And the bull doesn't. But there's that bull. We're gonna we're gonna kill this guy for sure and grab our stuff. Hi. Okay, well that was, see you're it gives nothing. You give nothing. Oh, that sucks. So the bulls just protect the cows. That's all they do. Hang on, is that a house I see in the distance? Okay. Uh I don't know, is it? I can't I honestly can't tell. All I see is the the giant symbol. Is there gonna be an NPC here? I really hope it's the trader. It'd be awesome if the trader's here. What is this? Okay, he's got a nice little nice little fence. Got a bull. He's got some farm plots. That's good. Farm plots are always good. I cannot pick up the farm plots. What? Who are you? What? Hello? Hi. Go away. Wow. Are you a Forterra employee? I'm a mechanic from Wonk Enterprises. Apparently, I'm from Wonk Enterprises. Forterra or Wonk, they're all the same to me. Go away. I was always on this planet. Now go away. Okay. This guy, he seems to have one line known as go away. Wait, what does that mean? Are there more people on this planet? Yes, maybe. I don't know. Now leave me alone. Wait, what does that mean? It means leave me alone. No, wait. Can you tell me more about Forterra? Like where their HQ is? Uh, no. First bring me 40 coal. Okay. Well, that's... That's kind of cool. This is awesome. I can't believe there's a... There's a actual NPC. Hey man, nice house. I like your house. Oh, I'll steal your oranges. Thanks for the orange seeds. Really appreciate that. What else do you have that I can steal? Anything? Oh my god, you got a nice little chair. That's cool. You got a crafting bench. That's cool. You got a nice little fire. Wow. There's some cool... Oh, there's carrot seeds. Can I steal your carrot seeds? Can I take that? No. Dang it. Alright, let me scan. Let me do another scan here. We're gonna need to find a place to build a base, I guess. I mean, I don't I don't really know when. I, I guess maybe I'll do that at some point. Scan complete. I'll bring this guy 40 coal first. Ask more questions to the stranger. Yeah, okay. Oh. The only question I can ask him is I have the coal you asked for. So, like, I don't I don't have the coal. Alright, I guess we'll just go mine something and get, get some coal. This is awesome that this exists. This is so cool. Can I... Can I mine this tree oh i can't i'm gonna clean up your yard bro i like the fact that there's already an npc trader that moves around like that's awesome it looks like another multiplayer person he's got his own path like he just does his own thing he goes to the well oh my god he actually wait i can go okay i thought maybe i could go in the well i cannot go in the well it looked exciting for a second there i thought maybe i could go in the well that's cool though he goes to the well i'm gonna kill your bull as kind of aggro. Okay, your bull's gonna kill me. Definitely gonna kill me. Um, hi, can you deal with your bull, man? No? You're probably invincible. I, on the other hand, am not. See if I can uh, just get some... Oh, eggplant? Hello! Can I... Can I take this? No. No, they're just... You just have some eggplants growing. That's cool. Alright, I'm just gonna finish chopping your tree, dude. And then I'll be on my way to get your coal. I'm gonna need to build a car. I might honestly just, like, wait and try and progress a little bit. And, uh, get... You know, maybe some better wheels. Or I could use the scrap wheels. But I think I might try and build, like, an RV to start. You know, and just have, like, a like an RV-style... A vehicle that just drives around, has like a bed on it, has all our stuff that we need, rather than building a base right away. I mean, we're gonna need a base to grow crops at some point, obviously. Um, but we'll have to see, I guess, if we can even pick up soil plots. That'll be the other thing, too, because if I can pick up soil plots and move them, then that'll be fine. Oh, there's coal. Perfect. But otherwise, you know, we honestly might be able to just, um, use the trader's soil plot, or not the trader's, that random stranger's soil plots. I don't know who he is. Let's call him Jim. We're gonna use Jim's soil plots. Alright, 15, 37 coal. Okay, so I need one more coal node. 
Get some metal. 15. What? Ooh, the metal looks different. Raw metal block. Interesting. Interesting. Don't know what that's going to... I mean, it's probably the same as metal one, I would imagine. Metal tier one. Who knows how they've changed it. It's already coal blocks and copper ore blocks. So I'm assuming we have to use some smelting as well. God dang it. I need coal. Give me another coal. No, I don't need stone. I need coal. I mean, I'll probably need stone too at some point, but I need coal. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we're refining all this. We're gonna have to make all the automated vehicles again that we used to have, which is super cool. Automated farms and stuff. Um, I mean, I'm gonna wait until I see, you know, what kind of stuff this mod has. Because, you know, there might be some cool new uh, crafting stations and stuff we can hook up with the vacuum tubes. I mean, in the trailer, it definitely showed some stuff that I haven't seen before. So, who knows? We'll have to see what that actually brings. But, definitely gonna be exciting to make purpose-built vehicles again. That's the one thing I do love about survival is... You know, you get, you get objectives, right? Like, creative is cool and everything, and you can build some really neat stuff in creative, but there's ultimately no objective unless you make an objective for yourself. Whereas in survival, you know, right away, we need something that can mine faster than this. Because this is, this is very slow. What? We got, that's got to be copper block, right? Ah, oh, nice. There's the coal we need. Could be coal. This is copper, probably. I, I don't know what we need copper for, too. That's exciting. Nice. Copper, yep. And then more metal one and more stone. I mean, these resources aren't bad. There's never there's never bad resources in a survival game. It's just, you know, what we need them for. All right, let's go bring this guy's coal and see what he says. Hey, man, what's up? You need coal to dye your beard and hair, right? Like, that's clearly what you're using it for. Did you actually just gather the coal because I... Yeah. Like, what else was I going to do? Give 40 coal block. Now I don't need to go mine for coal. Okay. Th yeah, thanks, man. Like, I'll, I'll burn your house down if you don't give me some answers. Who are you? Oh, so you want to know... Your name is Bill. And I'm, I'm still going to call you Jim, Bill. Well, Bill, I crashed on this planet. So, uh... Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. The planet was owned by Forterra before Wonk Enterprises bought it. So I need to know where their HQ is located so I can contact Wonk to come save me. I don't remember, uh, know where- the, Yeah, he, dude, he clearly knows. He knows where their base is. I don't remember where their base is, so I can't help you. Do you at least know who Forterra is? Well, yeah, I do know who they are. Do you know anybody associated to them? Uh, no. Are you certain about that? You appear a little strange. That's how I always am. Bill's been, like, living on a planet by himself for presumably a while? I mean, he's holding his pants up with duct tape. I'm I'm 99% sure he's slightly insane. We don't have any more questions. I have stuff to do, so you can leave me alone. Okay, that's great. Leave Bill alone. That's... What do you want? Bye. Okay, well, that's that's nice, Bill. Thank you for being useful as always, Bill. Uh, you know, gave you freaking 40 coal. Wasted my time doing it. And, uh, no. Yeah, nothing... Nothing worth... Nothing worth... He clearly knows where their... Where their base is. Scan complete. Anything? Nothing. I gotta go leave Bill alone. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm, I love this mod already. I'm really excited to keep playing it. It's got a wicked story. Bill's just gonna do his own thing. So I guess we're gonna just go adventure somewhere else and leave Bill alone. And maybe scan for some more radio signals. And there is clearly more smoke. Oh wait, no. That's just the terrible clouds. It's just, it's just like kind of smoggy, burnt clouds. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this mod. Of course, check out all the links in the description. I will post some links to the mod Discord. And of course, credits to all the people who made this mod. Really unbelievable um, already, the amount of detail in this mod. I'm super excited to see what else it brings. And of course, uh, you know, we've just barely scratched the surface. I'm sure there's more exciting things to do. And uh, we're going to adventure off and try and find ourselves the HQ and of course leave bill alone but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button and as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time